What's up, NZers? Hi! And welcome back to another family reaction video. Today, we're going to just be continuing on with our popular series, the one that you guys seem to love, which is checking out the US military vehicles. Today we're going to be checking out what you guys have been telling us in the comments is the like the biggest update to, or the biggest upgrade to the F-22 Raptor. So do you remember oh, that, yep. that crazy looking yep. stealth fighter jet? Oh, so this is an update. So apparently this is like the the next best thing. Okay. Like oh. the latest and greatest. Yeah. Because you know how the F-22 Raptor was like a stealth fighter? Yeah. And it had all the technology on it? So apparently yep. this one is like even more. More mind yeah, blowing. Greater than Whoa. that. Wow. So apparently this is the one. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it and check it out. Okay, yeah. And now, a word from our sponsors before the video begins. Have you ever heard of a VPN? It stands for Virtual Private Network. It's a tool that encrypts your internet traffic and hides your IP and virtual location. All your traffic is routed through a remote server so you can access websites restricted in your country. In our part of the world, we can't access some of the most popular streaming services like HBO and Hulu. <laughs> But NordVPN now allows us to enjoy our favourite TV shows and movies. Sometimes we're restricted from watching our favourite football team play. But now, thanks to NordVPN, we never miss a game. It gives us ease of mind knowing that our data is safe and protected while using the amazing benefits of NordVPN. Are you protected online? Get an exclusive NordVPN deal using our link in the description below. Our code NZFAM gives you a heavily discounted two-year plan plus a free anti-malware feature and it's risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now to gain access to a world of new content and extra protection. That's right guys, NordVPN is the proud sponsor of this video and we're so grateful to them for partnering with us and again, make sure you go and click on the link. It's also a pinned comment down there and make sure you click on the link and go and use our code because you get an amazing deal. Let's get straight into the video. The F-35 Lightning II is now the world's most dominant multi-role fighter. Its detection range, geolocation, threat identification, and system response capabilities allow the jet to precisely fix and destroy the most advanced threats in the world, including every layer of Russia's latest SA-20 surface-to-air missile, SAM, system. Oh, wow. While it still has several rough edges, the F-35 has now crossed several thresholds that make it the most lethal and cost-effective fighter in or nearing production within the NATO alliance. It looks Here like a Raptor. You need yeah. to know Quite about similar. this stealth fight. Whoa, ah. vertical takeoff. Or vertical after takeoff. One, the first US F-35A wing is fully equipped and already executing combat deployments. The maneuvering restrictions the jet had when first introduced are now completely removed. Okay. Even with a complete internal weapons loadout and full internal Aww. fuel, pilots can fight without limitation. Last year I interviewed 30 pilots at Hill Air Force Base, and all 20 with previous experience in fourth generation fighters said they would rather fly the F-35 oh in combat goodness. than their previous rides. That <laughs> preference held for almost every dogfight scenario they can imagine. <laughs> that sound. Was that the like the warthog the gun? The price of the lightning has fallen below even the most optimistic government targets. In 2018, the Congressional Research Service estimated that an F-35A produced in 2020 would cost $77.5 million using constant 2012 dollars. Translating that cost estimate to current year dollars makes the price of each F-35A $87.1 million. The actual cost of an F-35A in fiscal year 2021 is $79.2 million, and it's expected to fall to $77.9 million in 2022, $9.2 million cheaper than the government's best estimate using current year dollars. 
All the different hand singles they must have used. Yeah. <laughs> Three. It's almost like sign language. The F-35A yeah. now costs less than any other Ally-produced fourth-plus generation fighter. A fully combat-equipped F-35A is the same price as an F-A-18E F 9.8 million below the 87.7 million base price. Is that the Top Gun jet? Well, looks like it. <laughs> and 40 million dollars less than the Eurofighter. And all three of those competitors require additional equipment like multi-million dollar targeting pods before they can employ weapons in medium threat combat environments. The F-15 EX self-protection system is estimated to cost $7.5 million and the sniper targeting pod costs more than $1.7 million per jet, Whoa. making the total cost for a combat configured F-15 EX $19 million more than a full combat configured F-35A. Wow, and that's and none of those other jets would last for a day in a modern day high threat environment. They look so good in the darker colors. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Competition has increased performance and driven down costs. The total price of an F-35 is comprised of the aircraft assembled and produced by Lockheed Martin and the F-135 engine produced by Pratt & Whitney plus oh my goodness. When a Northrop Grumman produced aircraft subcomponent called the Distributed Aperture System or DAS failed to meet reliability thresholds, the system was replaced with the DAS produced by Raytheon that delivers twice the performance and five times the reliability at a per unit cost 45% lower than the Northrop Grumman model. This switch alone will save the government three billion dollars over the life of the program. Ooh. Oh, it figures out where the threats are. Five. Not all manufacturers who help build the F-35 have moved aggressively to reduce costs. Assuming it stayed on track with Pentagon acquisition estimates, Pratt and Whitney is now buyers. delivering F-35 mm. engines for eleven point eight million dollars a copy. With production efficiencies, that price was expected to fall to ten point seven million by fiscal year 2025 and fiscal year $12, saving the taxpayer another million dollars per fighter. Unfortunately, without a competitive motor available, Pratt & Whitney has made it clear that further savings are no longer in the cards. Hmm. The ability to competitively reduce engine cost and improve performance was lost when Congress killed funding for the F-35 alternative engine contract in 2011, leaving Pratt & Whitney as a sole source supplier with no incentive to reduce its profits. Wow. Sounds like some politics. Yeah. Six. The F-35A cost per flying thing. hour is falling, but one must wade through Mark Twain's lies, nice. damned lies, and statistics to find out how the jet is doing with this often misconstrued metric. The cost per flying calculations vary significantly between evaluating agencies, but all of them add costs for the F-35 that they don't include for the fourth generation fighters they compare it to. Wow. Electronic countermeasures and precision infrared targeting system are built into the F-35, elevating its maintenance requirements and ultimately its cost per fly. The buildings make fighters it so like much faster, F-15 right? EX, F-16C, and F-A-18EF require cool. additional equipment like external pods to give them similar capabilities but because they're not built in, the pod's acquisition price is not factored into those fourth generation jets purchase price, nor are maintenance costs for those systems included in their cost per flying calculations. So many Lockheed Martin, hmm. which shoulders roughly 39% of the F-35 sustainment cost, has reported that its share of the cost has right. dropped by 44% since 2014. Overall, the F-35's cost per flight hour now stands at roughly $33,000, a figure that includes a roughly $4,000 decrease in cost from 2019 to 2021 alone. Lockheed is also hoping to persuade the Department of Defense to enter into a performance-based logistics contract no. that it says will allow the company to meet government Formations. targets for reducing the F-35's cost per flight hour to $25,000 by 2025. $25,000 per hour. I know. Fly it. That's not going to be reduced these days, is nah. it? Seven. Oh. Mission capable rates for the F-35 rose considerably over the last year, but they're still below the 80% mission capable threshold set for the fleet by Secretary of Defense in 2018. According to Lieutenant General Eric T. Fick, Director of the F-35 Joint Program Office, the mission capable rate rose to 73.2% in 2019, up 18.5 percentage points from the previous year. With a priority for parts, forward deployed F-35 combat squadrons were able to sustain an 89% mission capable rate 
which means parts availability for the fleet is still an issue. Eight, depots limit the F-35 mission capability. When an F-35 component fails, it's replaced with an available spare, and the failed part is shipped to a depot for repair. A total of 68 depots are required to effectively sustain the F-35 weapon system, but just 30 are up and running, and only 11 of those are fully operational. I was told that you can Parts drop those and nothing will happen. Parts will continue yeah. to hold down so mission capable rates until all depots not, um, are operating at capacity. Lockheed Martin and the F-35 Joint Program Office have accelerated their efforts to get depots up and running, and now project that 64 depots will be operational by 2024 five years earlier than the estimated 2029. Yeah. Assuming funding for parts remains consistent, the parts shortfall will end, allowing fleet-wide F-35 mission-capable rates to meet or exceed 80%. Nine, the helmet-mounted display system for the F-35A is still having problems. The helmet gives pilots an unparalleled level of situational awareness in combat this. as it displays all critical flight and weapon systems data on the inside of the pilot's visor. <laughs> the image from the system's built-in night vision camera is also projected onto the visor, as is the image from the distributed aperture system that automatically tracks and provides vivid cues directly to the pilot on the location of friendly and enemy aircraft. The helmet is a game-changer in combat, but interface issues with its display have caused pilots to become disoriented when refueling or while landing the jet at night. Lockheed Martin went to work fixing this system just as soon as pilots flagged it as an urgent operational need, and that fix is currently being fielded for Navy F-35Cs. It may take several years before wow. the helmet fix makes its way to the Air Force. It's all carbon fiber, you can see it. It must wow. be so expensive. 10. The Autonomic Logistics Information System, or ALICE, is still too big, slow, and suffering too many problems. Every aspect of the F-35A's maintenance, supply, and operations are managed through the F-35 ALICE. Much like an Apple iPhone operating system, ALICE is a computer operating system that holds a conglomeration of 65 applications, subprograms, or modules. Some are built exclusively for the F-35A, others are commercial off-the-shelf programs. The problems arise when digital inputs from either the JET or a more modern ALICE application meet analog inputs or processing from another module. That's the problem with the Department newer of technology. Yeah. Elected to replace ALICE with a cloud-based operational data integrated network. The new system is designed to decrease workload and increase mission capability rates for all F-35 variants and should begin fielding later this year. Overall, the F-35A fighter is flying exceptionally well. It now provides the United States with significant competitive advantage against peer competitor threats. Shortfalls in repair parts and other smaller issues need to be fixed as soon as possible, but the capabilities that the F-35 provides the nation today, oh, along Christmas with the tree. dramatic drop in price, <laughs> make Air Force decisions to procure the F-15 ES and to one not missing ramp up on F-35A procurement. I think it's called like the finger, indeed. the finger the formation, because it's supposed to look like that. You always fall, uh, fly with four people in the finger formation. You got two wingmen behind the lead guy and then one back up at the, at the back. Mm. Wow. So this is the F-35. I haven't seen this, I was just told that it can do this. like pretty like small ones without runways it makes it pretty versatile coming back down for the landing All right. and it can just hover that 
that's insane. Can it go like up and then take off? Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't have a clue. It's like one slight wrong move. It's like it might tip. Yeah. And <laughs> bounce. <laughs> it's probably got a whole bunch of like balances on it. Yeah. Somehow. That's insane. Whoa. That's crazy, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That is an awesome jet. It is. Like, when did you ever think that a jet could uh, take off? It's my favorite jet now. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly the same as the F twenty one or the F the F twenty two Raptor. Yeah, yeah it looks really similar. Yeah, but it's yeah. a darker one, eh? It's kind of darker. It's a little bit more. That one looks a little bit more sort of thinner as well. Yeah. But it's it's a, it's still a stealth fighter jet. Yeah. So you've got normal fighter jets like the ones that they were showing us before, like the older style ones. Yeah. The ones that are usually like light grey. Yeah. But then the stealth fighters are usually like those darker sort of blacker looking ones. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Oh wow, that yeah. thing was insane. Epic. And even the helmet. Oh my goodness, it's like a massive like, thing. It probably got like a full computer, like everything in there. Also, the cost of everything blew my mind because I don't think we touched much on that. Yeah. Just the the cost of the US Army, I know. the military, must be outstanding. Yeah. And imagine fueling it all these days. Yeah. Oh, wow, these days. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. And if you like that one, guys, make sure you smash the like button. Go check us out on Instagram as well. Atlanta's over there. Some Atlanta's Kitchen episodes coming up. Yep. Yes. And also, a big thank you to our sponsor, NordVPN. Make sure you use the link down in the description or the pinned comment. Go and check it out. Make use of our deal, yes. our exclusive deal. And also, subscribe if you haven't already. Yep. Turn the notification bell on. All the things. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> we love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.